Thanks for staying with us. Could criminal charges come out of the January 6th hearings? Team J's 4's chief political reporter Charles Benson talks with NBC's Chuck Todd about this week's big stories. An attempt to coup and the big lie about the 2020 election. What are we learning about the January 6 hearings? Plus, inflation worries running hotter than expected. Let's talk about all of this with NBC's moderator of Meet the Press, Chuck Todd. And Chuck, I know most people will watch these hearings through a political lens, but what struck me most was seeing again this attempt by people in our own country to undermine what every American has accepted in history, and that is the peaceful transfer of power. Are there lessons to be learned here? Well, I think that's the goal of this committee is please look at what happened. Uh, there should be lessons, um, technical lessons where we change the law and the certification process so that it can't get so easily hijacked the way it was. You know, so there are certainly some technical aspects that we may want to change with how, uh, how we actually certify our presidential winners. But I'll tell you, I, you know, look, I'm with you. I don't think this is about uh, a political up or down. This is about not just the historical record. I'll tell you this. I think this committee is going to have a criminal referral to the Justice Department accusing Donald Trump of one or more crimes. They're making a pretty strong case that he was the central, essentially, organizer of the criminal conspiracy to try to overturn the election. And they made a pretty strong case that he incited the attack on the Capitol. I mean, that sort of teaser trailer at the end of the hearing where all those arrested insurrectionists uh, said they were there because Donald Trump asked him to be there was quite powerful, quite compelling. And look, I always thought that was the tougher part of their case was to tie him more directly to the attack on the Capitol. You know, I think they have a stronger case on the conspiracy to overturn the election, but that was a stronger, they have, they have more receipts there than I thought. And that, that to me is, is the next step here that, that we're, where we could go, which is, will the Justice Department uh, indict the former president? Yeah, they clearly left no doubt as to why all of this happened on January 6. Well, let's go from the elections to the economy. Another inflation hit for consumers today. And Chuck, is the economic hurricane coming, as J.P. Morgan's Jamie Dimon says, or is it here for President Biden? Well, I think you ought to hope it's here, because if there's more to come, well, my God, right? Like, if this is just a preview, then Katie bar the door. So I think that's the, to me, the, I, look, I don't know if this is a survivable political environment for the party in power. The reason I say that is, look at the history of the 70s. Inflation just, you know, ate up three presidents, okay? Sometimes it, you know, you're just not going to overcome that. Now, I think we live in a pretty polarizing time. And, you know, I think that there's certainly... It's a good thing people feel like they've gotten their own raise in the last two years, yeah. because that I think it, at least it blunts the uh, 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 some of the perceived impact of inflation. But if there's no easing up and we start to see a rise in unemployment in the next six months, then all of a sudden, yeah, maybe this isn't a hurricane yet and the hurricane is coming. Yeah, and it seems like every trip to the gas station is a new record high. He's Chuck Todd, and you can watch him on Meet the yeah. Press every Sunday morning at 8 right here on TMJ4.